<laughs> Sam! Oh, so bad. Uh, my name's Dan. I ride for the Weedy People Am team, and this is the Weedy People Flight Pro. So, as you can see, quite a nifty little compact bag. I think they aim to design it so it'll be smaller so you don't get as much trouble when you're getting on flights and stuff. A few little features, so things like here. Obviously, once the bag is fully packed, got a little compartment there for like pegs, tools, bits and bobs you need, toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant for the smell of people out there. You've got two pouches here for like clothes and the zip away so you can fit heaps. You get all your baggy pants all tucked away in there and then it's safe, clean, away from the actual bike which is going to be stashed in here. This is where the bike will go, you can strap it all down and then you're good to go. Another nice thing is these wheels, fresh softies, get the skaters jealous. If like you're just sending it too hard, running for a taxi and your wheel comes off, don't stress, just get a fresh wheel, put it back on. Even mix it up, I reckon you could probably get a skate wheel, get some colours on there, get one of those like, oh, like the ones with the lights. All right, I might do that to mine, to be fair, get like light up wheels, who knows. And you can throw your bag in and go around the bloody world, sending it, it's a beast. Buy one today for however much it costs. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with the pegs to take them off, make sure the bolts go all the way in, just so there's less damage. Steel pegs for the win. Boom, one wheel. You can leave your tires inflated, but that's just bait if you leave your tires inflated. Just in case they blow up on a plane, and then you get a punch when you get to the side. Pedals need to come off, then you take your stem off with your bars attached, and your forks come off as well. Depending on how high you run your seat as well, you can actually leave your seat on. Depends how street or Ryan Nyquist you are, do you know what I mean? Like, you put your bike in, then you can cover the bike, and then you can put stuff on top of that fabric, and then you can seal that away. So if you're really trying to hide something when you're going abroad, we people got your back for all you smugglers out there. It's a nifty bag. I normally put like a sock over that and then tie it down. So then like the headset and all that stays together. But for the sake of this, we can just put it in the handy compartments that we the people supply. Shame we have to put this back together after. Forgot a pedal spanner, that's fine. All good pedals, including these Weezy People pedals. Come with a six mil at the other end. Probably should have taken the pedals off first. It's just not how we roll up here. It's all kind of messed up. It's a lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. But I think sometimes if you're upside down, it's backwards. If you can't remember lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, well, I feel sorry for you. But secondly, make sure the Allen key or the pedal spanner is locked on and just put all your weight one way. And if it doesn't budge, it doesn't budge. That's not the way to go. <laughs> Boom, bike, ready to go on holiday. <laughs> Takes all the weight, Ugh. solid stuff. Now you can pack your bag many different ways. This is just my way, so haters, I don't care. Just I'll pack my bag. So I've got the back end there. So it's kind of like on like a bit of a, so you've got the full stretch of the bag and there's even space for those that have longer frames and longer back ends. All those dirt jumpers out there. We've got you covered. Got back end, longer top tubes sorted. So then that's in. And then it's mainly just a case of putting bits wherever you think they'll go. So as you can see, it does fit. It does look small, but your bike will fit. For those of you who don't know, luggage handlers don't care about your luggage. So just think that through. Think about someone that doesn't actually care, is very angry that they have to pack all your luggage while you go on holiday and they put the luggage in the plane. So they just sling it about. So keep your stuff safe, keep it locked in, locked on. Tie it down. If you're a wee kid, get your dad, give it a wrench, give it extra tightness. Obviously, you might, I'm not doubting your strength, but I'm just saying, like, if you're feeling like you can't fully send it, just send it. Do I take my tyres off? No, you can just let the air out of the tyres. It's dead straightforward. If you've never let your air out of your tyres before, just let it out. Oh, all that PSI, mate. Dan, while we're waiting for the 
<laughs> Too much PSI, that's, how, that's why I'm letting it out. Shout out the Fast and Loose boys, mate. Watch your DVD, got hyped. Went to my local indoor skate park, into the box room, pumped the tyres up to like 60 PSI, very rare, and sent it. Just jumped in the box, bloody massive. And I was like, you know what? I reckon I can motor whip this. Having never done a motor whip before in my life, and got stuck in the motor whip. <laughs> That's what happens, but most of the fast and loose boys also don't have teeth, so essentially the DVD did exactly the job. I joined the crew that day, watched the video, sent my tooth out. Now I'm one of them. It's what it is, but it's a flipping good DVD. It's so good, it'll knock your teeth out. <laughs> right, well now your tyres are safely deflated. Not the kind of PSI you want to jump boxes with. The kind of PSI... Shane Weston used to ride back in the day. That's now in. I mean, feel free to do it your way, but this is my way. It's my bag. So this is the cover, stage one, of the multi-tier burial system that we the people have installed. Buried, boom. You're like, oh, sound, the bike's away. Then they have stage two. So you can still throw some random bits. I don't know, like, a towel, break up a sweat, try and take your bike off, I don't know. Throw it in there. Let's give it a squeeze. Boom. Look at that. Open it up in the airport. Oh, it's not even a bike, mate. It's nothing. It's just some really big clothes. So you've still got room for your clothes. There, here. That zips off. Just absolutely wrench it. Then they tuck in there. Again, another little, nice little feature for when the baggage handlers send your baggage to kingdom come, mate. Your straps will be safe. Because they're stashed, mate. If you're feeling brave, try stashing other things. I wouldn't recommend it. Probably go to jail. But, stash space. You've got all this. And then handily, you've got your other bits. Your tools, your pedals. Most importantly, your steel pegs. They've got you covered. Look at that. You can get heaps in there. It's not even heavy. Steel pegs. If you're feeling dense for all Dylan Lloyds out there, a few pull-ups and that. Even on this carpet floor, it's smooth, man. You've been caught at the airport with some bad stuff going on. Or you just need to abort quick. You just got there, taxi's rapid. You get the handle, both sides, and you just send it. I handled that drop. Can do anything, mate, it's indestructible. German engineering, mate. Right, well there you have it. We the people bike bag. Best bike bag in the game, fact. From Dan, anyway. Over and out. It's bloody lovely.